Hi, this is Pastor Deb from First Lutheran Church in Paxton, Illinois. We have Kids Ark. With me is Tammy Bellinger, the youth coordinator. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Merry Christmas to you and your entire family. From Pastor Deb, Tammy Bellinger, our Christian Ed person, as well as our Christian Ed team, and the entire congregation of First Lutheran Church in Paxton, Illinois. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. At this time of year, there is a song that I love to sing. It's called Silent Night. I hope you enjoy singing it too. Come on, boys and girls, let's sing. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so Today we're going to learn about there is salvation in the name of Jesus. Well, there's all kinds of information about babies' names. You can find it on the internet. You can find books that say these are all kinds of names and this is what they mean. So, one of the most exciting times in people's lives are when they're going to have a baby. And there's so many things that are done. and they have to get everything ready, the room ready, get all the clothes ready, all kinds of things that they do. But one of the hardest one is choosing a name. You'd be surprised how often you come up with a name and your spouse says, oh, not that. I knew somebody named that name. No, no way. So I was telling you about those books and those internet sites. Well, I looked up a few, and so I'm going to show you a few names and what they mean. John. We've been talking about John the Baptist. His name means God gave Mary, Jesus' mom. Well, she's the perfect one. Caleb means faithful and bold. Alex, that's my granddaughter's name, means helper. Michael or Michaela, one who was like God. Elizabeth, God's promise. Daniel or Danielle, God is my judge. Well, for fun, I looked up my name, Tamara or Tammy. 
It means the palm tree. I also looked up Pastor Deb's name, and it was pretty funny. It means from a bee swarm. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but it sounds like she's got lots of energy. So it's kind of interesting to see what our names mean and where they came from. But when Mary and Joseph, and I've got a little thing here, when they were going to have their baby Jesus, they didn't go to a bookstore and they didn't go to the internet to try to find names and see what they meant. They had a very special way of choosing this name. So they had their baby and an angel came down. And they said, you will name him Jesus. You'll have a son. And Jesus means the Lord saves. So was it important for ba Mary's baby to be named Jesus? Well, yes, it was, because the Bible tells us that there is no other name that can save us from our sins. And that's in Acts 4, verse 12. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you for sending your Son. During this season, when we celebrate the birth, help us to remember that there is salvation in the name of Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Well, welcome back, boys and girls. Oh, Tammy Ballinger's Bible study was so interesting. Who knew that all those names had meanings behind them? I thought it was so interesting that Tammy or Tamara means palm tree. Just think, palm trees are in Hawaii, and there are palm trees in Florida, and they're so beautiful in the wind and by the oceans. How exciting is that name? And what about my name? I didn't know that Deb or Deborah means from a bee swarm. Bzzz. I guess I better get busy, right? Guess what? There are even more names that I go by. What could they be? How about this one? My name is Friend. I am a friend. And how about this one? I bet you didn't know I have four brothers and two sisters, and they all call me Sister. That's one of my names. And check this one out. This is ant. Now, this isn't one of those little insects that go uh, walking into a picnic. This is like an ant or an uncle. I am Aunt Deb. I am Aunt Deb. And another name that I have is Daughter. Yeah, did you know that I have a mom and I am her daughter. So I'm going to put this one right here because I'm a daughter. And you guys might not know this, but my family all call me this name, Debbie. I am Debbie. Right there, I'm going to put this one. But this is the name that you all know me by, Pastor Deb, because I lead a congregation and I am a shepherd to the flock. All of these names are what a person can be called. But you know what? In my life, there is one name that is above all other names. And I want that name in your life too. That name is Jesus. Remember, call him Jesus. What do you know? That's the name of our next video. Let's watch. Here we go. Long ago, before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah foretold that Jesus would be born. He said, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Years later, when God sent an angel to tell Joseph that Mary would bear a son, the angel said, And you shall call his name Jesus. 
for he will save his people from their sins. It is this name, Jesus, that brings healing and power. At the name of Jesus, those who cannot walk will rise up because of Jesus. And there's power in the name of Jesus at the sound of his name. Jesus, demons flee. When we call out the name of Jesus and place our faith in him, we will live forever with him in heaven. Because of Jesus, we are made right with God. God has given Jesus the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Jesus, his name is special. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. Jesus. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's so good to see you again. And the movie was very interesting. That video taught us all about the, that salvation comes from Jesus. What a powerful name his name is. In your parents' emails, they will find some coloring pages that look like this. There's an angel and Mary, and Gabriel is telling Mary that his name will be Jesus, and he is telling Mary of the birth of baby Jesus. We also sent to you the worship bulletin page, and that also has some very fun things to do, as always. There is, in the worship bulletin, there is a word search and a crossword puzzle and a decoder message. I wonder what that message says. Have some time to be able to work on that message. For our, guess what? I have a little friend here who is visiting me. Take a look. It's rugby. For those who know my kitty cat and have visited at my house, this is my kitty cat, and his name is Rugby. And he is a big kitty. He's a boy, and uh, he is ginger or kind of orange, kind of red color, and he has tiger stripes on him. And he always comes to visit me when I am taping a message for you guys. All right, kitty cat, you're going to have to go so I can talk to the boys and girls. So you will need some uh, paper like this, and this is a more uh, stiff kind of paper uh, that you'll need for this project. You'll also need some popsicle sticks like these. And your parents can help you to get these ingredients for our craft project. You'll need some brown paint, some yellow paint, and some blue paint. You'll also need a glue stick like this one. So the first thing you'll do is you'll take your cardstock paper like this and write on it there is salvation in the name of Jesus. There is salvation in the name of Jesus. If you need help spelling, you can ask mom or dad to help you spell. So when you're done, it will look like this. There is salvation in the name of Jesus like that. And then what you'll do is you will need five popsicle sticks. So let's get our popsicle sticks. We need one, two, three, four, five. Five popsicle sticks. 
And then you can take your glue stick. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make the stable. And to make the stable, you need to make a pentagon. It has five sides to it. that for the sides. And then I'm going to glue the roof on. My stable. done, it will look like this. Okay, can you see that? There's my stable. Then the next part to this craft is you will take a paper plate like this one, and you may have to have a parent help you with this. You put a little dab of glue on your plate and a little dab of yellow and then after you've gotten the blue and the yellow on your plate you'll need a little bit of brown so put a little bit of brown on your plate and when you're done it will look like this you'll have some brown some yellow and some blue now for this project, we're going to use our hands to paint. So you'll need something to clean your hands, like paper towels or a napkin, or maybe uh, baby wipes like this. Pastor Deb happens to have these flushable wipes. But please ask mom or dad for some help to find something so that you can clean your hands when you're done. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the um, the crib for the baby Jesus. So you just put your finger into the ground and you'll do two dots like that. And then you'll have a little space and you'll put two more dots like that. And then You'll do seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And like that across the top. So there you have the manger. There's the manger. And then I'm going to clean my hands. brown off and then I'm going to use the yellow and with the yellow I'm going to make the hay for the manger so you go just across the top and you can do about seven of those across the top and then also I'm going to do one at the top of the stable and that's going to be the star the bethlehem star and that's up on top so the yellow can you see the yellow and see how it goes across the top of the manger and there's the star and you can paint that with your fingers and then I'm going to use my wipe and clean my hands again. And then we're going to use the blue. And you can dip your finger in the blue 
and on the top of the hay, you're going to do three dots. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three. And that's the baby Jesus there. Can you see that? There we go. So we have the manger and the hay and baby Jesus. And it says, there is salvation in the name of Jesus. And that is our Christmas project for this week. And so, um, we know that we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. And let's not forget that he doesn't stay a baby for long. He grew up and he became fully God and fully man. Jesus is like no one else. He's, he's unlike anyone else. And Jesus is the only one who can truly save us from our sin. And it's a great way, this is such a great way to celebrate the birth of Jesus by calling on the name of Jesus. Call his name Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? I think I am going to set that on my refrigerator so I can see that every day. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, today I want to thank you for all that you have done for me. Thank you for my wonderful parents, for my brothers, my sisters, my grandparents, and the rest of my family. Thank you for my pets, my room, my teachers at school, and thank you for Christmas. Thank you for the birth of baby Jesus on Christmas morning. And thank you for delicious food my family has made. And thank you for helping me to remember to call his name Jesus. Jesus, thank you for coming here to save us. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. On behalf of First Lutheran Church in Paxton, Illinois, from Pastor Deb and Tammy Bellinger and the entire congregation, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us, boys and girls. We'll see you next time.